Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a shorter one. All I'm doing in this video is basically just trying out um, hair diffusing for the first time. So I decided to pick up a diffuser because in the last like two years or so that I've been wearing my hair natural, I've always just let it air dry and I've never actually tried to diffuse it. Um, and I've just never went out and bought a diffuser. So I decided to purchase the diffuser. I did some research and from what I saw, the Black Orchid diffuser from Xtiva, I believe is how you pronounce it, or Xtava. I'm actually not 100% sure how to say that. Um, from what I saw though, that seemed like what people were recommending as the best one. So I ended up picking it up and I also just decided to go ahead and get a blow dryer from them as well since the blow dryer that I had was just like really crappy and I never used it just because I would never really blow dry my hair if I was wearing it natural, I would just let it air dry. So this is the black orchid diffuser head and this is really, really huge. Like I knew that diffusers are supposed to be big, but for some reason when I saw this in person for the first time and got it in the mail, I just thought, wow, this is like as big as my head. So I ended up purchasing this set on Amazon and I will leave it linked down below the exact one that I have. I just got one of their like basic hair dryers um, from the brand because I didn't want to risk this not fitting on another hair dryer. And like I said, my old one was really crappy anyway, so I just wanted to get a new one. And this is like a really heavy duty, good quality feeling hair dryer, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out, but I'm gonna put some products in my hair. I'm just out of the shower and I haven't put any product in my hair yet at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then I will try out the diffuser. Um, but the products I'm gonna use are the Kristen S Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioner and then the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. I did a whole video reviewing the Curl Talk um, line stylers. So I will be sure to have my curly wavy girl playlist linked up in the corner so that you guys can go find that video and check it out. But yeah, basically all I'm gonna do with the leave-in conditioner is this is just like a spray, like a liquid. So I'm just gonna like spray this into my hair. I'm gonna do quite a bit because my hair can always use some extra conditioner. And then all I'm gonna do is just scrunch a little bit I just squeezed out the excess water from my hair, but I didn't actually go in with like a t-shirt or anything to dry it. So lately I've, I have been liking my hair to be a little bit more wet when I style it. I just feel like it gives me a lot of definition and um, I've just been enjoying it. Then I'm just gonna go straight in with the defining cream. It's about that much. and put the diffuser attachment on here. I did this when I first got it and there was no like click or snap or anything. I could tell that it was on there pretty sturdy. It just like twists on and then you can feel that it's tight. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in. This is like a really long cord too. Okay, and then we're just gonna go in with this massive thing and I'm gonna start with the cool shot button, I think, which is up here at the top on this blow dryer. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and like, go like this up to the root, um, but it's probably gonna be a little bit loud, so I might not be able to talk while I'm doing it. dry probably but it's taking a little longer so I might try to do it on the lowest heat setting just for a little bit I'm 
wash my hair out with an oil, I think, but I just want to make sure that it's completely dry. This is how my hair is looking. It's kind of interesting because I do feel like it broke up my waves a little bit, but in a way, I feel like they also look more curly, like the way that, that you just push that against your head and it like crunch, scrunches the curls up for you is just like a really cool concept, I feel like. Whoever created a diffuser was like a genius. Okay, so I'm grabbing my Verb Ghost Oil and uh, since the pump is broken on this, I'm gonna have to unscrew the cap. I don't know how it happened because it was working fine one day and then the next day the pump was broken. So I'm just gonna take some of this on my hand, warm it up. I love the smell of this oil so much. And then I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna try to be like gentle with my hair and just like lightly scrunch it. I almost feel like the teeniest bit of dampness in my hair, which I didn't feel a minute ago when I was checking. So it's kind of weird. I feel like it can be a little bit deceiving almost. Like you think your hair is dry because of the heat. That could probably be it. The heat from that diffuser, since I did have it on a low heat setting, was kind of warming it up and making it feel more dry. Um, but then when it cools down, it's a little teeny bit damp. Like it's almost completely dry, but you can just feel like these little spots of cold that you can tell it's a tiny little bit damp. Um, I kind of feel like the lighting isn't quite bright enough. Let me see if I can turn this up. I want you guys to be able to see it really well. Like, wow. I'm pretty impressed with how, like, ringlet my waves look, if you know what I mean. Like, I feel like my hair almost looks curlier, even though it also looks a little bit more broken up. Like, it's not super clumpy. But I'm really loving this whole like broken up waves because I feel like they look more, just more ringlety and like smaller, tighter waves, if that makes sense. Maybe I'm in my head, maybe it's crazy, maybe it's just that whole like mindset of the fact that you're pushing the diffuser up against your hair and it's like scrunching your hair for you as it dries. I don't know, but let me know what you guys think. Like, I want to hear your thoughts. If you watched any of my other videos, let me know what you think of these waves compared to other waves. Like, honestly, my hair feels really, really, really soft right now. And I feel like when I'm looking in the viewfinder, it's not quite doing it justice to like how my hair looks in person. Like when I look in the mirror behind me, my hair looks so bouncy, like really bouncy waves. I don't know, I feel like at first when I was doing the diffusing, I thought maybe I was gonna have some frizz because it was like getting, I was getting some flyaways on the top. But now that it's done, I feel like my hair is super like frizz free and it just looks really defined. What a beautiful wave. Anyways, that's enough rambling now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, but I just wanted to do this on camera for the first time with you guys because I really love trying out new things on camera and just letting you guys know my first impressions and then, you know, giving you guys my thoughts down the road. But yeah, this is just me trying to diffuse my hair for the first time at home with the Black Orchid Diffuser. And honestly, I know I've never tried a diffuser before, but I really, really like that diffuser. It did not, my hair did not get caught in it at any point. It was super easy to use. I love how big it is and it like gets all of your hair. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed the diffuser as well as the blow dryer, the cool shot button was like the perfect temperature and the perfect like amount of blast coming out of it. So even though it took a little bit longer to dry my hair than I thought it might, and like I feel like I have the slightest bit of like moisture in my hair yet, I'm not mad about it. And I will definitely be doing this whenever um, I feel like I'm in a really big hurry and I just need to get my hair dry because I'm heading out the door. But yeah, obviously I'm gonna keep testing this out and who knows, maybe eventually I will prefer it to air drying. I'm definitely gonna 
keep doing it um, and just see how I like it compared to air drying. But for the first impression, I really, really enjoyed that. I'm gonna stop rambling now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your hair video requests in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet. And you can also come join me over on Instagram and Twitter if you wanna be more a part of this community that we're growing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.